Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as it concerns their win in Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals. It is official. The Lakers are now heading into the NBA Finals for the first time since 2010. This is an historic moment for the Laker fans and, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers by going 4-1 and one into the Western Conference. And now they have basically submitted themselves into, uh, you know, going to the finals for the first time since 2010. I just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about my reaction about the the results of the game and the finish and the players. And I just want to give you guys my thoughts about it. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So guys, uh, the Lakers have beaten the Denver Nuggets. Uh, it was a very good win for the Los Angeles Lakers in game five. They just basically wanted to just finish off the series and just head into the NBA Finals already and just win a championship. That was basically the mindset for the Lakers and they just didn't want to have another result of how the Denver Nuggets have been playing in the playoffs, uh, you know, by coming back from... Uh, from a three and one, uh, you know, series and just humiliate uh, certain teams like the Jazz, the Clippers, the Lakers. It just wasn't the case. They basically just wanted to, you know, prove all the teams that went up against the Denver Nuggets that we are the better team and we are not going to lose a type of deficit and a type of, uh, you know, series that we are at and. You know, they just came to play. That's what it was. So, uh, you know, it all has to do with LeBron James. Uh, King James, you know, he really came to play. And especially in the fourth quarter, consistently shooting from, you know, any given moment. And, you know, averaging a triple-double. I believe now he is like like second in the NBA for uh, in playoffs when it comes to uh, you know, triple doubles. Uh, the number one on that list is um, Magic Johnson. So uh, that's really interesting to know, uh, you know, in any given time, if he just averages a couple, maybe three um, triple doubles, he could be, you know, placed as number one in the uh, in the in the playoffs for the best uh, triple double performance. So, you know, LeBron James, he just you know, was really a huge help for the Los Angeles Lakers. He really stepped up for the team and, you know, he was just all over the place when it came down to, you know, him facilitating the ball and just uh, targeting players and especially uh, with his scoring ability, uh, you know, down the paint. It was just really uh, a great help for the Lakers when it's all said and done that King James is now going to the finals again. This is going to be his 10th appearance in the NBA uh, Finals, so it's just going to be a historic moment for LeBron James, uh, and you know, still remains to be seen who are we, who are we going to be facing in the finals. But you know, as we all noticed by now, LeBron is obviously prepared as ever when it comes down to uh, you know going to the finals and facing whoever comes in front of him. So, um, great job out there for King James out there, uh, AD. Anthony Davis, uh, you know, he didn't have a somewhat great performance. Uh, you know, he just um, just wasn't really himself uh, the way I've been seeing how he was, um, you know, playing out there. I don't know the, the quite of uh, the stats that he put out there, but last time I checked, I believe in the third quarter, he had maybe like one rebound, and he's still struggling with the rebounds for these past couple of games. I mean, I'm not sure if he's just, uh, you know, tired or just not having a lot of uh, rest time but you know or maybe because you know maybe Dwight Howard I mean he's maybe carrying the load when it comes to grabbing rebounds but um, uh, you know it's it's still out there I'm not sure why that Anthony Davis has not performed to the best of his ability for the past couple of games but you know this is Anthony Davis we're talking about this is the same guy who averages around 
27 to like 30 points a game and when it came to playoff time and you know we've been seeing the greatness of Anthony Davis so in any given night Anthony Davis will obviously give you a great performance but you know I'm not really like I am kind of concerned if there's like something wrong with him but you know at any given time I know that Anthony Davis will give a great performance on any certain um, occasion so uh, great job anyway for Anthony Davis for being out there I know like he was suffering like a an ankle sprain but you know he uh, you still fight through he fought through it and you know he just the same old Anthony Davis out there so great job for uh, Anthony Davis and when it comes to the rest of the starters from like uh, Danny Green and KCP uh, the shooting ability but from their end it's just been sensation when it comes to this series so far and especially in the Western Conference especially from uh, KCP who's been a huge help for the Los Angeles Lakers defensively uh, you know and also from the shooting range but you know defensively in tonight's game was really the true testament of how uh, great of a defensive player that KCP is. Uh, that's something that he's well known for throughout his uh, career so far uh, in the NBA. And, uh, you know, that's the number one thing that the Lakers um, drawn to uh, KCP when it came to his defensive ability. So great job out there for KCP. Uh, and uh, when it comes down to it, Dwight Howard. For the past two games so far, he has been sensational when it comes to his defensive ability and his rebounding. He's just been on a tear when it comes down to uh, you know just defending big men left and right. I mean, he's just you know just on his game ever since he signed with the Lakers. I mean, he's something that we all expected him to to do is to grab rebounds and play defense. Like I said in my last video, uh, we did not want the all-star, I guess you can say, arrogant type of Dwight Howard back in 2012. Uh, we wanted the defensive player of the year, Dwight Howard, and we basically got that uh, not just in the regular season, but also in the playoffs and in the Western Conference, which, uh, you know, he just been uh, all over the place when it came down to guarding players like, uh, you know, the Joker, Plumlee, um, and, you know, uh, even in tonight's game when it came down to Paul Millsap. I mean, he was all over him when it came down to his physicality and, uh, you know, his just um, defensive uh, ability. So, and, you know... Even before the game ever started, he was wearing a Kobe Bryant jersey. So, you know, his mindset was also Mamba mentality when it came down to defensively. And, uh, you know, he was just all over the place when it came down to that. So great job for Dwight Howard. Uh, when it comes to the bench, I mean, the bench really stepped up their role as well, especially in the first quarter. I believe last time I heard in the first quarter, the bench combined with 14 points. Uh, you know, that just tells you that their ability to really step up their role off the bench uh, really gives the Lakers a great edge, especially uh, going into like the second or third quarter. And, you know, Alex Caruso, he's just an amazing player to really have on your team, the defensive mindedness and uh, his uh, also his physicality. He also has that sort of trait as well, being physical on the paint and, you know, taking shots here and there. And, um, you know, he's a really tough guy. And in tonight's game, he showed his toughness out there and uh, his ability to, you know, in any given moment, if a player passes him and he has a ability to shoot, he will shoot it. And, it, you know, it goes in at times. So a great job out there for Alex Caruso. For Kyle Kuzma, uh, we saw some glimpse of his ability to, you know, score and defend. But, uh, you know, lately in these playoffs, it's just not really uh, the case as of uh, as of that uh, moment. So uh, I think once uh, the NBA playoffs rolls around, uh, Alex Caruso, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Kuzma will basically step up his role in the in the finals i hope he does because you know he really needs to step up his role especially uh when it comes to you know anthony davis and lebron james you know not really playing to the best of their abilities at any given time uh cal kuzma really needs to step up his role as uh 
as basically the third option slash, you know, um, just being a reliable player. So, um, you know, defensively he was there, but I just want to see more offensive attack by, uh, you know, Kyle Kuzma. So, and then when you, when you all said and done, Rajon Rondo, he's just been a rock for the Los Angeles Lakers in these playoffs so far, especially, uh, you know, starting from his return in the semifinals against the Houston, Houston Rockets, you know, putting on the, turning on the button for um, uh, playoff Rondo. That's what we are all expecting to see from him, and he's been sensational since then. Uh, you know, he's basically became uh, the third option for the Los Angeles Lakers when it comes down to coming off the bench. And, uh, you know, he's going back to the NBA Finals, and, you know, he with his help, we are going to win a championship uh, for the city of... Uh, of LA, so this is going to be very fun to watch how this uh, Lakers team will move forward into the NBA Finals. It still remains to be seen who are we, who are we going to be facing in the finals. Uh, it could be the Celtics or the Heat. As it stands right now, it is three and two uh, between those in the uh, in the Eastern Conference Finals in those particular teams. Um, you know, but the Heats, you know, they're a very tough team and, you know, they could potentially end this series because they're the ones who have the three, uh, you know, going into the Eastern Conference Vinos and, you know, the Celtics have two. So, um, at any given moment, it could be a, a done deal, possibly on Sunday, uh, you know, with the Heats winning or you never know. The, uh, the Celtics might uh, extend this uh, series and go into game seven with the expectations of either of those teams uh, coming up on top. So the Lakers, basically, it's just a waiting game for them. They're just going to be sitting back, possibly resting, and they could potentially just, you know, practice on their offensive ability and their offensive attack, uh, their defense as well. Just everything that needs to be prepared for them to, you know, just go all out in the NBA Finals. It's just something that the uh, the Lakers needs to uh, make sure that they are 100%, 10%, whatever percentage they are at to um, have a great success in the NBA Finals because this is their moment. This is their moment to deliver a championship to the city of LA, adding another championship to the to the 16 championships that that this organization has and you know adding you know a lot of rings to particular players including like LeBron James who could potentially be having his fourth ring uh, in the in his NBA career and uh, you know just in general the Lakers as a whole they just need to work well as a team and you know not always relying on LeBron and Anthony Davis and just they just all need to step up and hopefully in these next uh, couple of days off and them working out and just practicing. Uh, I just hope that they just bring their mindsets uh, at 100% when it comes down to the NBA finals. So guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good social media stuff. And please give me your thoughts about the Lakers results of the Western Conference Finals. Uh, like always, I'll make a playlist for the NBA Finals for the Lakers. Uh, I have a whole series of the playoffs of how the Lakers performed uh, in the uh, in the NBA uh, playoffs from the first round, the semifinals, and of course the Western Conference Finals. So please go check them out and you know, just give me your thoughts about uh, every single game that the Lakers played in in the in the playoffs, and um, and also when it comes down to everything, guys, what is the expectations moving forward for the Lakers when it comes to the NBA Finals? Uh, what's the most important thing that they need to have in their mindset moving forward? Uh, do you think that they should just stick to what they are been doing for the past playoffs so far, or do you think there's some improvements needs to be uh, needs to be made? Could be uh, shooting, could be um, defense, I mean everything across the board. I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos. Like always guys, I'll leave the links into the description of all my social media sites and of course uh, to this channel as well. And um, 
you know, I'll keep you guys up to date about everything that goes down when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, news, updates, speculations, and of course, um, you know, the coverage of the Lakers and the NBA um, and the NBA Finals uh, as well. And uh, when it comes to other news like the, you know, the draft and free agents, as always, I'll keep you guys up to date about everything that goes down when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. So, uh, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers, and congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers for going back to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2010. Really looking forward to it. Let's go, Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Thank you.